Good afternoon, Wolfpack. I'm David Ramos. And I'm Angelina Doherty. Today is Wednesday, March 22nd, and we are here with your daily announcements. Senior Ball is coming up on April 8th. Tickets for everyone are $85. Guest passes and tickets can be bought at the student store, and all guest passes are due by March 29th. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors will need a guest pass in order to attend. Make sure you're not on the no activities list before going. Now we're going to pass it on over to Nisha and Ethan to see what's going on in the world of entertainment. Hello, my beautiful people. Um, oh, how I missed you. I'm Ethan Nguyen. And I'm Nisha Samra, and this is your entertainment segment. We've got some interesting news, so let's get into it. The Oscars were on last Sunday, and as expected, Avatar won Best Visual Effects, with Everything Everywhere All at Once sweeping the most awards. Everything Everywhere All at Once, wow, that's a tongue twister, won seven awards that night, such as Best Actress, Best Supporting Actor, Best Supporting Actress, Best Supporting Director, Best Editing, Best Original Screenplay, and Best Picture. I was waiting for Ki Hoi Kwan to win Best Supporting Actor. I'm so glad he won. I love this speech, too. Yeah. Me too. I'm, I remember you calling me about that. Yeah, I was excited. <laughs> Some other Oscar winners are Brendan Fraser for his performance in The Whale and RRR, who just won, uh, who won Best Original Song. Just to name a few. On to other news, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Wasp Quantumania has been receiving a lot of negative reviews despite its good box office scores. This does look like the end for Mar of Marvel for the moment, but there's potential in their animated films. Have you ever wondered how the Foreman Grill was created? No, I kind of don't. I don't really care about grills. <sighs> how dare you? So disappointing. Well, this isn't a movie for you, and this is, I'm not talking about the grill today. I am talking about the man who created it. Coming out on April 28th, the movie tells the rise and fall and rise again of George Foreman and how he became the oldest heavyweight champion ever. Well, that's all. All we have for today. I'm Nisha Samra. And I'm Ethan Nguyen. See, See you guys, guys next, next week. week. Thanks, guys. Damon, did you watch the Oscars? No, I kind of was too busy playing games. Uh, what a gamer. You are invited to join the upcoming educational travel experience to Japan next year in the summer. Scan the QR code to find all the meeting details and register to save your seat on the trip. You can come here all the details, including itinerary activities, academic opportunities, the cost of the trip, and EF's risk-free enrollment period at the upcoming informational meeting. If you are interested in trying out for the 2023-2024 JV or Varsity Cheerleading Team, there will be a four-day clinic in the small gym from Monday, March 27th to Thursday, March 30th. Each day, the clinics will be from 4 to 6 p.m. The final tryout day will be Friday, March 31st. Time, because Jonah's gone, it's time to see our Mr. Forever Alone for today, Darren Francis and Daniel Gandy. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Darren Francis. And I'm Daniel Gandy, and I'm here today for your sports update. Jonah is currently finishing up a track tournament, so good luck to him. It's school sports news. Our swimming team is doing fairly well, and they have a meet today, so go Wolves! Our boys' volleyball team has had a rough start, though, losing both Oak Grove and Pleasant Grove. But they have had a great effort and will continue to improve as the season goes on. The developmental team had their first win over PG yesterday, who was coached by Patrick Peake, who is both a player and a coach. Our boys' baseball team is currently also 1-4, as they face Davis, Davis today at 4 p.m. Though I have to say, the rematch win against River City was, good, was a good game, especially since they were at Sutter Health Stadium, home of the River Cats. The girls' softball team is 1-3. and three. They play Bear Creek tomorrow. I am unbearably excited. In national sports news, NBA power rankings have changed. The 76ers were in first place, placing the Bucks in second and Celtics in first. Let's see if they can maintain this position. They've had an eight-game win streak, though, so I'm pretty hopeful. In the, NH in, in the NHL ranking, we have a Boston Bruins in the first, the Carolina Hurricanes at second, and the New Jersey Devils in third. Specifically, the Bruins recently won a close game, 2-1, against the Ottawa Senators. Jake DeBrusque of the Bruins scoring his third game in a row this week. In future news, former Greenback, former Greenback Paker QB Aaron Rodgers has just, signed a, has just signed a contract with the Jets. And former QB for the 49ers, good old Jimmy Garoppolo, signed with the Raiders. Yay! My day just keeps getting better. I'm Daniel. And I'm Darren. Back, Back to, to your, your anchors. anchors.
Thank you very much for the update. Now let's see how our band concert went. Never mind. Oh. That was a joke. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Angelina Duarte. And I'm Dan Ramos. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Puppy, Puppy Day, Day Wolfpack. Wolfpack.